Hello, Watcher and Sawadee Cup. Here we are, July 2016, and uh, we've got our one week of uh, decent half weather in London and England, and uh, the sun's sort of out, but it's our one traditional week of uh, summertime that we get over in this country, and uh, so yeah, here we are. Just uh, summing up now, so as the title of the vlog goes, so far, so good, so what? Sort of. Uh, so yeah, just sort of summing up off the uh, last 2015 extravaganza that ended up being. Uh, started off as being two weeks, and then as the uh, plans went on and things happened, as they do sometimes, it ended up being three weeks. So yeah, as it went on, so it was uh, four flights, five hotels, three different locations, uh, ended up being a bit of a blowout, but um, in a good way, in a good way. Um, so yeah, as you saw from the little vlogs, uh, started off landing in Bangkok, a few days there, down to Pattaya, a few days there, back to Bangkok, a few days there, then flew up to Chiang Mai of course, really enjoyed it up there, and then after that back to Bangkok again. So uh, as it went, as you saw, a few museums, um, different restaurants, street food, uh, other places of interest, uh, what was it, the um, Royal Thai Air Force Museum, really enjoyed that one, a few museums up in Chiang Mai and then a few different things down in Pattaya uh, and uh, like the Sanctuary of Truth, always worth a visit if you're in town and uh, yeah, generally out and about sightseeing, enjoying it, enjoying it, uh, really do like Thailand, um, so yeah just sort of summing it up there really so as it's been going on as you've been seeing hopefully you've been watching all the vlogs um, and been obviously doing them each week when time allows between work and doing your other day-to-day -day things you know well don't do it it's not anywhere near professional as you probably go uh, it was only done as a bit of fun so um, yeah I've been doing that uploads um, editing photos then going on TripAdvisor, putting reviews on there and photos on there. Google, I'm a reviewer on there now, believe it or not. If that's a good thing or not. Um, but yeah, doing all them sort of things. Takes up a bit of time, you know, but a bit of an interest really. So yeah, all good, all good really. Um, so as a few people have asked, was there any motivation for doing the vlogs, any inspirations, what was the plan, all them sort of things. Was there a plan? Not really, no. Uh, just thought before I went, looking on YouTube and other sites for, in, you know, ideas, things to do, places to see, them sort of things. Thought to myself, a couple of days before, I thought, do you know what? I think I'll have a go. I just think I'll have a go. So no real plan. A lot of it was just done on the fly as I went. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd have a go, really. Um, inspirations, a couple couple um, from looking at some of the well-known people on there um, so I thought yeah we'll have a go at doing this not being too nasty to no, no names but seeing some uploads on YouTube and think oh you know wouldn't have, wouldn't have bothered doing that but um, you know I thought as long as they're in focus mainly um, and they're half decent can't do no worse than anybody else obviously you know, if you've got the best software and the best cameras, then you know, and, and someone else helping with the photo, with the filming, which I didn't, 99% of the time, it was all just me. Um, so yeah, didn't think I did too bad really. So uh, that was that really. So just doing it as I went, got up that particular morning wherever I was, and thought, right, I'm going there today. So do a bit of shooting on the way, maybe, and a bit of shooting while I'm there, maybe show some of you what it's like there maybe you want to go have a go yourself have a look um, so that was the main reason really a bit of fun between me and my mates just to show them them sort of things and then just went from there really so uh, thumbs up some of the followers and subscribers and the likes so far it's all good there uh, appreciate that appreciate that um, wasn't after getting a following or a big following or nothing just what I just put them out there really no real plan, anything else like that. A couple of people have asked, what equipment did I use? Well, this camera now 
is a Canon G1X, which I bought just before I went out, really. Um, it was the 2014 trip I had. I took me Canon digital SLR with me with flash, different lenses, tripod, all the gear. And the main thing about that was um, it was the weight, extra weight carrying it out there. Not too much grief lugging it around as such, carrying it around, but um, some days I thought, oh, no, no, don't really want to be carrying this, so I thought I'd get something a bit more compact, a bit more all-rounder, um, then I don't have to take a digital camera and then a video camera, because I've got a little handheld one as well, a little Panasonic, which is okay, but I thought I'd get this G1X, it's a bit more of an all-rounder, and proved to be very good, so that's what I'm shooting on now, so some of the shooting, was on the G1X. Um, the only downside of this one is it's got no port on the side to put an external microphone in. So can't have an external microphone. So that was something that someone pointed up out on one of the vlogs, but can't do much about that unfortunately. Um, budgets and all that, you know. Love to get a nice big flashy camera with a, like some of the vloggers use with a big microphone on or one you pin on yourself like you see on telly and them sort of things but this one's good, this one's good. Uh, what else did I use? Well, uh, I had a couple of phones with me. One to use while I was out in Thailand with a DTAC SIM. Uh, that was a Samsung S3. So I used that a couple of times when that was all I had on me. Like I said, there was no real plan. So if that was the only one I had on me at the time and I saw something, I used the camera on that. And the uh, Samsung S5 got quite a good camera so some of it was done with that and a selfie stick um, which was not too bad but the only downside was it was a little bit shaky which a couple of people pointed out but at the time didn't know about these brackets you can have with the counterweight so when you're carrying around it keeps it all nice and smooth didn't know about them believe it or not so uh, I do now I've seen some other vloggers use them and I've seen them on some of the websites so I'll be getting one of those so that should be good um, so yeah, that's what I was using for that. Something else someone else had asked for, um, what software I was using for the edits? Well, just standard Windows Movie Maker, believe it or not. Um, for my little vlogs, fine. Put, do a few features, uh, put some music on a few titles. Most of the time, that's all you want to do for me, like I say. I haven't got big budgets, so I'm not going to buy the latest big Photoshop or editing software that allows you to do, you know something that uh, a movie set would be proud of so just using the basic stuff at the moment really but once again from one point of view not being too cocky too you know over the top don't think I'm doing too bad really um, so yeah that's what I'll be using there on, on that um, happy with the results was I yeah on the whole I think it came out quite well really um, obviously you can't please everyone all the time but um, wasn't after doing that just, uh, mainly between me and my friends a bit of fun really so um, I think it came out quite well in the end so oh, yeah the inspirations really uh, was there any well I looked at the likes of uh, Jeff Carter um, Mark Weens of course Bangkok Fatty another one um, and a few others um, so I thought yeah let's have a go at doing some of this um, can't do any worse than anybody else or don't want to really do any better than anybody else just want to do my own thing really so that's how it went in the end um, so yeah quite happy with all that lot quite happy one thing I was thinking of doing if you lot are all still watching and you'd like to ask any questions so what I was thinking of, if you put some questions in the comments below, um, we can do a little Q&A vlog, perhaps. If you've got any questions, uh, keep them nice. Um, and then we'll see if we can have a bit of fun, do a little Q&A vlog session. So that will be coming up, if you want to do that. Um, and then any other thing that might be happening, which is looking good for later on this year, more details to follow will be another trip 2016 extravaganza it's all looking things are coming together at the moment budgets in place uh, which is the main thing um, so 
yeah looking good at the moment like I say get a bracket for more filming for these counterbalance ones um, maybe cut over a little bit of some equipment but I'll keep this this camera I think and maybe something else as well who knows but um, yeah keep me peeled on that more details to follow on that one like I say when the final arrangements are in place then uh, updates to follow on that one but in the meantime can we do a little like I say a little Q&A vlog put some comments below uh, nice little questions you know, if you want to know anything where to go what to see them sort of things then uh, fire them across uh, so the only other thing coming up is looking good for a 2016 extravaganza oh yes it's looking good for a 2016 another three week trip to Thailand um, budgets in place so now it's just knitting together the, the final details it's looking like it's going to be a two location trip this year um, with a few hotels and a few flights so it's all looking all looking good all looking good so far so keep them peeled and uh, coming soon will be some more details so there we go then so yeah that's the story so far um, so if you get your questions together put in the comments below and then we'll see how we go and then we'll do another vlog soon so mind the hair go for now